Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and this time, we're going to be looking at Fred's Buggy. Now, this comes to you guys from the same mod creator that designed the Jeep Kaiser M715 mod that you guys really, really enjoyed. Now, I know it doesn't look like much right now, but once we put some big tires on it, it's going to look a lot better. Now, the idea behind this mod is that it's supposed to look like a backyard-built, you know, send-it-style crawler, and I think... Judging by what we've seen so far, I mean, I definitely think that it follows that sort of, follows that sort of train really, really well. And I think it's going to be something that a lot of people are going to enjoy because on one hand, you have, say, for example, uh, Frog's Custom Crawler, which looks like a professionally built crawler that came out of, like, you know, a dedicated off-road shop. Whereas this has the charm of looking like something that people literally put together in their backyard and then took to the off-road park, which gives it a really, really cool charm. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to make it to consoles or not, but it appears that, I mean, I, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. It literally is metal tubing. So as long as he included the console packs, then it should make its way at some point. So let's go ahead and jump into the build. So let's see. You start out with a GM305 mild cam a 350 with a street cam, and a 383 stroker. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go with the 350 right off the bat or go straight to the 383 stroker. I might go straight to the 383 stroker, but let's see. You have default box, highway box, and off-road box, which we're going to go with the off-road box because it's definitely the one that will suit this thing's application. And then, suspension-wise, actually, you have a few different options. You have stock, lifted, and low and very soft, which is kind of odd i'm gonna go with the lifted one first i feel like low and very soft might be well i'm going back and forth honestly like i'm i'm kind of kind of wondering if maybe low and very soft might be better we'll see we'll we'll see we'll see it might be better for flex now let's see the biggest tire at least in the all-terrain category that we can use is a 35 but once you get into the off-road stuff let's see we have oh here we go here we go. Here are the custom mud tires. These actually look really, really good. Like, really good. I kind of like these, the 39-inch uh, gateways. I like those a lot, but let's see. Wait, 30 as opposed to 12. Now, I'm not sure what that last number does, but... Oh, it's PSI. Okay, so that's the same tires at 30 PSI, and that's the same tires at, like, 12 PSI. So we'll go with the 12 PSI 39s. They look good, too. They're a really good-looking tire. Now, let's do the uh, just offline winch. And you get one wheel option and no interior customization. So the actual interior customization options and the color customization, there really isn't much of that here. But that's not what this thing is designed for. So I'm, I'm not surprised or at all disappointed that it isn't there. So once you get it outside, I mean, as you can see, it's definitely a little bit of a almost work in progress looking build but that's not bad i mean actually and if you look at it from the side it's almost like a car body designed out of metal tubing so let's fire it up so whoa that's got a weird squat to it when it drives oh that is very strange maybe the whoa that's that's weird that is super weird. Let's see what it looks like when it flexes out, because maybe that's what the point of the low and very soft suspension is. It's got this very weird, like, it's almost like a hiccup in how it moves across the ground. It's got okay flex, but I kind of want to try the lifted one, because that suspension is very weird. Let's do the high and see how that does. See if it has the same, like, odd gripping issues on the ground. That's very weird. Now, granted, he may push updates for this in the future, and, you know, I'm sure he can sort out any of those weird physics glitches, but definitely feels like an odd thing to drive. Now, granted, I think it's a great idea. I think it's a super cool rig, but at the same time, like, you can tell it's very work in progress. Now... One of the odd things is that... Let's see if it's actually active with the ultimate. I doubt it, though. Yeah, it's not. The odd thing is that it grips the ground better when you have this weird, super soft, low suspension on it. Although, it almost, like, hops around the ground in a weird way, like it's clawing at the ground. But not in a way that is something you would program into it. Like, 
in a way that's almost weird. Yeah, look at that. Like, when I throw it onto the logs in high, it, it's almost like it's got more gravity pushing down on it than a truck should. I don't know how to describe that. It's like it's being shoved into the ground, and I, I, I'm not sure why that is. That's very weird. And again, it's not a, a criticism of the vehicle. It's just an odd um, aspect of it that I'm noticing. Now, I'm going to go back to, I think, the high suspension because the ultimate suspension just seemed, like I said, to have this very weird, uh, almost almost hyper, uh, like, hyperactive gravity. The strange thing, too, is that, and maybe it's just in my head, but when I switch to the high suspension, it almost feels like I lose grip. Let's see if, what happens if I hit that at full speed. Whoa! Okay, yeah, it should not have nosedived that fast. The physics are very weird. Very, very, very weird. Oh, boy. Let's see if I go to the default suspension. Let's see if it drives better with that. Maybe the other two just aren't done yet. I'm not sure. This is interesting. And, and like, don't get me wrong. I think there's a lot of potential in this rig. I'm just... Whoa! I'm just not sure what the... Oh, my God! I didn't even touch the steering right there. And it just randomly backed itself in. Like, it literally randomly turned backwards. I'm not so sure about this thing. It's weird, and I have no doubt that, you know, if he if he made it drive a little bit more like the M715, it would be fine, but as it is right now, I I'm not quite sure about it, and again, that's not like, you know, a criticism of the mod, that's not me saying it's a bad mod, that's just me saying it drives weird. I I'm not sure, again, how else to put that into words. Dare I take it to the racetrack? Because I feel like, whoa! Dude, if I take that to the racetrack, it's going to nosedive so hard. Like, it's going to nosedive at a rate that has never been seen before. Let's do the 39s at 30 PSI. We have the top... Okay, we have the top engine. I'm going to go with the highway box, which is a six-speed, which is sketchy. Oh, that's even weirder. Like, if I try to drive it in rear-wheel drive... Like, even if I do steer, it's like the front axle just doesn't do anything. Alright, let's see how hard you nosedive. And go. I wonder if it can even stay straight going up to the jump. Now, what the heck? Why is it that when I... Okay, so why is it that when I have the highway box and I go off of a jump, it jumps just fine? But if I go over, like, a log, it's like, nope, we're gonna do a somersault in, like, 0.2 seconds. I, I, whoa! I don't understand it. Also, there's, like, no progressiveness to the steering whatsoever. So, like, the second you turn, it's like, you don't even have, like, any time to even balance the steering in a slide. It's like, turn backwards. You have to, like, oh, yep, see? I, I literally touched the steering, and it was like, uh-huh. Not okay. I'm gonna go around this jump. It's, again, it's like it's being pulled into the ground or pushed into the ground or something. I, I don't know what the physics are doing with that, but like, whoa, whoa. And again, that's not to, and then you go over and jump and it's fine. And again, that's not to like pick at this thing and say it's bad. It's, honestly, I actually really like it. I just think if it, if that weird gravity was fixed, it would be such an amazing vehicle to drive. Come on. Turn up. Well, um, that was like a well past nine degree drift recovery. Okay. It does work a little better if you like feather the throttle in a turn. But, whoa, uh, yep, and then sometimes it decides it just wants to be backwards. It, it, it's not the most consistent thing in the world, and I don't, I don't say that as, like, you know, a picking at this thing. I, 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 I really want to drive that point home to people watching that I'm not, like, picking at the truck. I just, I love it, and, you know, I want to see just a couple of things changed, but, and maybe that's the feel he's going for. Maybe he doesn't want those things changed, and if that's, like, what he wants as a modder, that's fine. But I think more than anything, the weird gravity 
that makes this thing feel like it's being pushed into the ground constantly. Like, and it's not even that it feels heavy. It feels like it's lightweight, but the... It, it feels like it's lightweight, but it has, like, a giant hand on top of it constantly pushing it into the ground. I don't know if that will actually translate to any sort of, like, actual explanation, but if it does... And, you know, if it does, and if you've used this thing, let me know in the comments if you, I guess, agree with, you know, with what I'm saying on that. I don't know if, again, I don't know if that's the best way to describe it, but either way, I think it's a wonderful concept. I mean, and the body almost looks like something out of Wreckfest, which is so cool. I just wish that it didn't feel like, you know, this giant gravity hand was constantly pushing down on the top of the cage. Come on, let's go. Easy. Oh, that's going to be weird. And the amount of suspension damage. See, that's the other thing, too. The way the, the way the vehicle is set up to drive makes it so that it can only land hard, you know, off of a jump. Even if you have, like, the high suspension on it. Like, even with, like, you know, the, the, the high suspension, which the problem with the high suspension is that it nosedives even more. But... Either way, no matter what suspension on it, it lands hard and it will always, like, really tear itself up. Oh, that was so close. That was so close to not making it. Oh, my God. And see what I mean about how it does this weird walking thing? It, I, I don't know why it's doing that. Now, backing up yet again, this is not meant to be any sort of, like, you know, roast fest of this mod by any means. I love it, and I love the M715. I love a lot of the, uh, a lot of Fred's projects. I the only thing is, I think he's on. I think he's really onto something with this rig. I just think if like one or two things were maybe altered a little bit, it would make this thing so much more fun. And whoa, that weird snap is just kind of odd. I, I don't know why that weird snap happens. I, I wish that that weird snap wasn't there. But without any. Good lord, the stopping distance. The stopping distance is, uh, big yikes. But if you guys enjoyed this test of this mod, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below, especially if you've driven it. And also, you know, definitely... Definitely, you know, trying to go in the direction of constructive criticism with this thing and, and not, like, any sort of bashing or roasting or whatever. It's a great mod, and, you know, I don't make mods. And so, like, he's already way... You know, way ahead of me in terms of mod making, but the like I'm just coming at it from the standpoint of someone driving it and the experience of some someone driving it. So um, take that as you will. But again, with that being said, hope you all did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.